Hello. Hello. Testing, testing. Put the volume up a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Testing, testing, testing. Hello. Who do we got in here? What's up, Prabal? There we go. Sorry guys, just uh, posting the link real quick. <laughs> All right, rock and roll. Sorry about the glitchiness. I haven't figured out how to get rid of it yet. Um, working on it though. We've made improvements today. We've got uh, we've got lights because the last couple ones were dark. So I ordered some lights and they came in today. And so we're rocking and rolling on that front. 
I still can't hear myself. Say what's up if you're in here. I see there's eight people. Eight or ten people in here. Show yourself. We're going to be doing some fun giveaways. Um, everybody's going to get a prize. So whenever your name comes up, we're going to be rolling dice and doing all that fun stuff. Ah, what's up, Jeremy and Lauren? Mr. Julian Stein's here. All right, we got 10 people. Let's see how many people we actually have on the list. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three people total. Not too bad. So we got about half the people here. It's five after ten. Um, let's start showing off the, uh, the prizes, and then we'll roll some dice to see where we're going to start in the, the break. So, we're going to be cracking some Fallen Empires packs. Um, anyone who pulls a Fallen Empires pack is going to get cracked on camera, because that's more fun. If you really, really don't want it cracked on camera, shout really loud in the uh, in the chat box, and hopefully the seven second lag is not too slow to catch me. Nice, busted out the scotch. Who's that? Is that Alex? That is Alex. Um, you should be drinking something fancy. Uh, I'm drinking. This is what we're... Oh, well, I guess it's upside down because I got my camera flipped. This is the Crown Royal XO. Um, this is the last of the bottle that I got from, um, from Greg down in Louisiana. Uh, when I got his collection, he gave me a bottle of this. So uh, we're polishing it off tonight. Uh... All right, back to prizes. We've got a bunch of random booster packs. Uh, we've got Zendikar Rising, Ravnica, or, or not original Ravnica, but Return to Ravnica, Tor Core 13, and Core 19. So I threw this one in here just to be um, funny because nobody really wants to open Core 19, but maybe a Crucible of Worlds. Who knows? Um, and then one lucky person will get this shiny Pokemon Cat has a party. I'm happy. I, I cannot wait to be able to click off of this and see that on Facebook. Um, so we got a Pokemon card for one lucky person. And then also one of these old school, I figured this was, I think this is from Cold Snap. Uh, it doesn't have a date on there, but it's it's from Balduvian Horde. So I'm a, it's, I guess it would have to be Alliances. Um... I don't know what these things are worth. I got it in a collection. I think this is actually probably from Greg's collection as well. Um, you don't see them often, but it's a life counter. I think it's probably from Alliances. So um, that is going to be, that'll be a, a fun prize. Um, and then we also got 
a bunch of these promo packs. These are all F&M promos, I think. I have these left over um, from uh, the store buyout in Virginia. Uh, I sold some of them recently, and these are kind of the, the less than desirable ones. So not crazy, but um, just fun. They're kicking around. And then I've got all these Legacy Foil Islands. Um, I figured because Force of Will is the uh, best uh, best card, not best card in the set anymore, but, I mean, playable-wise, probably the best card in the set. Um, so uh, Blue Islands go with Force of Will, so I figured let's do that. I thought, Jeremy, I think you're right. I think it is from Alliances, because it's Balduvian Hordes. I didn't even notice. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see it on here, if it'll focus. There it is. So you can see Balduvian Hordes, Brian Snotty, and that's the artwork. Um, so that's definitely, I saw it and I was like, oh, this is perfect. So what we'll do is we'll roll a six-sided die, and then... Um, you know, whatever it is, it'll be from one of the piles. So it'll either be from the FNM promo pack, the new, new pack, the Fallen Empires, the Pokemon, or the uh, the grand prize, the Alliance's uh, life counter. Um, yeah, that's kind of how it's gonna go. We burned up ten minutes. There's ten people in here. Everyone else can watch later, and if they're not here, then they're missing the party, and that's on them. So. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to put the prize packs over here first. Let's take a cheers to everyone. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, these things are so much fun. And to be open, to be able to open, you know, 1996 boxes, um, there are a couple people who are actually going to be opening packs on camera. So that'll be fun too. Cheers to you guys for being here. And let's get this thing going. Oh, that's delicious. All right, so let's go. We'll do Balduvian Hordes 6, Pokemon 5. We'll go uh, Fallen Empires 4, New Packs 3, FNMs 2, and Islands 1. So, you know, obviously only one person can win these two. Um, Actually, let's zoom out a little bit so you can actually see the prize pool. Uh, my camera perfect's my camera setup's not perfect, but it's getting there. I'm getting a little better every time, guys. Um, so yeah, once these are hit, they'll come out, and then we'll just if we hit a six, we'll have to re-roll. I probably should have grabbed a four. Let me see if I can find a four-sided die. I actually have. This will be fun. You guys can take a look in my uh, dice caddy. Woo. There's probably a four sided die in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. One. Oh no, that's a three. That's a three. What does a four sided die look like, guys? Is that the triangle one? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's a four sided die. That's right. Okay, so we'll do a four sided die there. <laughs> Cheers, Julian. Um, I'm also bad at the uh, chat, so if I miss your your thing for a minute, I'll, I'll get around to it. I I just you know got eight eight things going on, and and I'm a little uh little um yeah scatterbrained by this time of night. How's that? So let's do let's put these aside. Let's roll the die to see who's starting out. Or I'm sorry, this will do. Uh, this will see how many times we're gonna randomize the randomizer. Um, so it's a ten-sided die, and however many times it goes, that's how many times we'll uh, click on random.org um, one through forty-five, and we'll see where we're gonna start the list, and then we'll go through. So we've got a three. Bring up random. Now I just gotta find it. All right. 
one through forty-five. Um, and whoever comes up for the first spot is gonna get a uh, a prize. Well, they'll get a prize right off the bat anyway. One, two, three, four, five, forty-three. All right, so, whoop, hey, ha! Hopefully that glitching goes away. So, we will start at 43. That's Shane P. Wimble, his second pack. So, we'll start here. Here's the list, guys, if you want to see it. Um, see if we can get that focused. It's not great. Um, it's half decent. So we'll start here, and, um, and then we'll go down. Let me just real quick number them. Last time it was... Kind of a pain in the butt. Not a pain in the butt, but it was... Uh, sometimes I would lose my place because, um, you know, we're talking and hanging out and trying to get work done at the same time, which is always hard. So sometimes if I lose my spot, I'll be able to just reference this real quick, know where we're at, and not mess anything up. That's the that's the big hope. Um, good news, I met a guy locally who makes custom acrylics. So for anyone who bought into um, the Tempest starter deck brick, we are hoping to have them done by next Wednesday, hopefully. Um, and that way we'll be able to do the break on Thursday. We're going to get prototypes this Friday. That beard, though. All right, Mike. I'll Since you're here. What's up, Mike? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Mike wanted me to show my face because we haven't seen each other in so long. So, hey, everyone out there. This is your friendly box breaker. And welcome to the, the office that is the horde of magic cards. Um, that's all my bulk behind me. All right, back to, back to business. Back to business. All right. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Um, so, we're starting with Shane. Shane, we're going to roll a six-sided dice. We're going to see which prize pack you're getting. Oh, oh, it went off camera. Um All right, I'm going to I'm going to roll it on camera. Ooh, a 6. Oh my god. Right off the bat, Shane, you get the alliance's uh counter. So, sorry guys, sorry for everyone else. Um, I was hoping it would go a little longer, maybe many ones and twos and threes before, but uh, Shane nabs it uh, right off the bat. There you go. <laughs> that pile of boxes looks way too familiar. Yeah, I'm sure everyone has, uh, you know, a thousand, five thousand count boxes that someone in their life is probably going, can you get rid of some of these? All right, the great unveiling. There it is. There it is, guys. And gals. I'm going to put the tamper resistant stuff over here since we don't really need to see it that much on camera. Um, put this over here for Shane. It's going to be hard to keep track of everybody's prizes. I'll figure that out as we go along. So, where's my knife? Where's my special knife? Kniff. 
Here goes nothing, as Dan says, through the looking glass. Uh, Mr. Will unseals if he, I don't know, he probably won't be tuning in, but if you see this, I should have another ticket for you. Um, he's collecting data for all these tickets in the boxes. I think he does a bunch of different boxes. So if anyone comes across tickets from these, man, this box is crispy. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of wear there, a little, a little crunchy from age, but... Um, but man, this is a nice looking box. Let's open that bad boy up. Oh, we got a little bit of shifting in here. So funny. The first box that was mangled to all hell. Um, no shifting. And this one, we got a little shifty shifty. So my guess is it's going to be from this left side. So I'm going to put it over there. Uh... But as we go through, if one of them has too many or too little, I guess we'll shift it around. Um, it seems like that's probably, they seem even. So we'll set them there. Mr. Shane, you're getting pack number one. Oof, these are nice packs, guys. They're not sticking to each other like the last time, which is good. So we got to fold these over a little bit. If anyone wants to come to North Carolina and help do this for the next break, or if you're in North Carolina and you want to help do this for the next break, that is more than appreciated. Again, sorry for the uh, glitching, guys. I can't figure out how to get rid of it. I need to find someone who streams from a Canon E50 or M50, whatever it is, um, that can tell me how to link it directly to my computer. All right, number one. What's today's date? It is the 24th. at the top of my J. I never do that. Um, all right. There you go, Mr. Wimble. And now we're on to Joe Torres. Joe, you're getting packs two and three. Let's give you a dice roll. Two. Um, all right. Let's, so since one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to give you the top one, Joe. Um, if you got Is It Charm. And so let's put this over here. All right. Number two. Are you doing same case? I think Joe is doing same case. That's what he did last time. So we'll put his... Number two and number three in the same case. Joe, I'm not going to put all four years in the same case. I think that would be a little much. But I'm going to do number two and number three, and then I'll do number four and number five in another case for you. And so um, I was saying earlier we got a guy who's local who's making custom acrylic boxes for the Tempest starter deck break. We're also gonna. My hopes is we can get um, we can get booster pack boxes cheap enough that we can roll it into the price of these mid '90s booster breaks because you know usually they're so expensive that you don't want to put them on the uh, on stuff like this. It's mostly for the white white packs like the dark and 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 earlier. Um, Otherwise, it's kind of cost prohibitive. So my hopes is we're going to be able to get the cost down enough that we can do it for every booster box break. 
Uh, all right, Joe, for you. And this one's for you as well. And then we won't have to use these, you know, these kind of less good, these subpar acrylic boxes for the, I don't want to say subpar booster boxes, but Julian, no, you're good. Every Everybody's getting a pack. Everybody's getting an acrylic box. Um, it's just rolled into the price. Uh, I got you down. You're good. For those who got, so you're, you're opening one on camera, so uh, you'll just get one pack with one, but some people who got two, uh, they just want them in the same case. Um, that's just, you know, or they don't, it's lack of preference, I would say, probably, than, than anything else. But yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to get the cool uh, booster pack cases for the next box, which is going to, well, the dark will definitely have booster pack cases because, you know, because it's the dark. Um, all right, yep, that's two and three, this is four and five. Um, but we'll be doing, I think we're going to be doing, um, I think we're going to be doing Mirage Block. And maybe 5th edition and some like Odyssey and Onslaught. So we've got some cool stuff coming up. Um, I've got Scourge in the mail too. I don't know who'd be into Scourge. But, um, you know, it's it would be cool. I don't know. All the 90s boxes are cool to me. So who's next? Mr. Eric Obayashi. <laughs> Pack number six. Let's roll the die for you, Eric. Five. Eric, you got the Pokemons. You got the Mewtwo. Um, if you're not a Pokemon fan, I'm sorry, but I think these things are worth like 10, 15 bucks. So just go ahead and sell it and buy uh buy a nice like Sterling Grove or something like that. So this is for you, Eric. Um, you're gonna get packs no pack number six. Get that nice and snug in there. Onslaught, right? Oh man, I can't. It was, it was an ex, that's an expensive box these days. I remember seeing it for six hundred bucks not too long ago, and I almost pulled the trigger on like two or three of them, and I didn't. And I think my cost basis for this one was a hair under two. I, don't, I gotta look it up, but I yeah, it wasn't it wasn't cheap. So I don't know what break I don't know what's like a prohibitive break price. Like there's certain boxes that you can't um you can't really break because you like people don't want to pay you know, 40 bucks for a pack of Onslaught probably, right? I mean, like 20, 25 bucks is probably loose pack price. So we'll see. Those those ones we might have to just, uh, might have to just stash for a couple years. And then later on down the road, when it makes sense, we can offer a cheap box break instead of, I don't know. Is that, does that make sense? Oh, nice. Eric, your kid plays Pokemon. Well, I'm happy to provide him with a Mewtwo promo thing from who knows when. Um, all right, Mr. Fulton, you are next. Cheers your scotch. And let's see what we're doing here. Boop. Oh, that's off the table. Boop. Three. So you got Corset 2019. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's six. Let's let's give you a let's give you a choice there. Number one. Okay, well you get you get Corset 2019 anyway, whether you like it or not. Let's open that up. 
All right, Crucible of Worlds, here we go. Come on, focus. Ravenous Harpy, Volcanic Dragon, Declare Dominance. Oh, Leonin Warleader. That's not a bad rare. I mean, it's not a not a Crucible, but um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. At current market prices, Onslaught does not make any sense to break, but. Yeah, Scourge might. There's a couple in the, that mid-90s that really make sense to break. I mean, geez, uh, I think Mirage Block would have to be broken for full block at 400. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Like, seems pricey to me, but I don't know. 400? I, I'm looking at loose packs. We're doing weather like for 90 a pop, and it's half full already, so I don't know. Um... So that was Alec. Alex, we're looking at packs seven and eight. Alex wants different cases. All right. I mean, I would love to open some Onslaught. I mean, if people want to get crazy and just ball out, I'd love to just open all the packs of Onslaught. Um, if anyone's down for that, if anyone wants to just, like, buy the box outright and do an old... Do an old Rudy style video where we just crack open a box of Onslaught. Um, if it covers my cost, then I don't care, you know. Um, so this is number seven. Um, man, last time the video, the uh, the the glitching. It kind of stopped after a little bit, and this time it just it seems like it doesn't want to do that. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's Mr. Alex. We're gonna do your second pack, Alex, and then we'll, we we will move on. need is someone to I'll I'll pull it out I'll do all the the prizey prizey rolls and stuff and then someone to just sit here and take these things because this is what takes the most amount of time on number eight Boop. all right all right who's up next for ball you are up sir Cheers to you. What are you drinking? You said you're... You got a drink. What are you drinking, Prabal? What's your cat drinking? Eggnog? Spiked eggnog. Spiked eggnog? It's winter. It's a milk drink. All right, let's see. Let's see where we're going. I really want to see some freaking... Fallen Empire is open. So, oh wait, we're down to four. Okay, so now we're going to the uh, four-sided die. So whatever whatever lands up. So we got a two, one, two. For Ball, you are getting a War Leader's Helix uh, F and M pack. These F and M packs, by the way, have four in each one. Um, they're sealed foil F and M dealies with four in each, so. So for Ball, uh, you're gonna get two packs. I think I forgot to ask you, Cat has the itis, ate a big dinner. <laughs> nice. Cat is already passed out. Well, that's what cats do. That is their main job in life, is to uh, to pass out and look cute, you know? Um, Prabal, do you want your packs in... I, I think I forgot to ask you. Do you want your packs in separate? I'm just going to go with yes, because that's what most people's, um, you know, go-to is. That's the, that's the standard. Uh, so unless you tell me different, I'm just going to start putting them in different packs for you and for Jenny. Together is cool for my two. Okay, how about Jenny? Does she want, does she want them separated or together? Okay. 
Oh wait, together for you too. <laughs> Let's see, we go s nine and ten. Yeah, together is fine for hers. Okay, cool. You are awesome. That makes it easy. I know, you're just, the, the video's going too long. That's what's happening here, isn't it? You're like, get this shit done with. Get it over. We all got to get to bed. Um, also, uh, guys, is there a better time to break? I'm up from like uh, like 11 a.m. to like 5 a.m. most days. So like timing doesn't really matter to me. Um, so you guys tell me what what works for you. Is it too? Is this too late? Is this too early? I know some of y'all are West Coast. Um, I mean, we got people in Australia, uh, Tempest Break has some people in France, so kind of all over the place. This is going to be number nine and ten. Boop. Well, that's for you. And then Jenny gets a roll, too. Oh, wait. Four-sided die. Four-sided die. Three. So that is going to be a booster pack. And since we did that, let's go. We'll do the five, five roll. Oh, well, five. So that's going to be... Core 2013. What's up, Keith? Great time for me here in Minnesota. Time works great for us since we're in California. Okay, perfect. So 10 o'clock is kind of good because uh, it, I feel like it's not too late for East Coasters and uh, it's probably a good time for the West Coasters too after dinner and whatnot. Okay, so we'll keep it at 10. Um, Jenny's going to get a pack of uh, 2013. We're going to crack this bad boy open and let's hope for a lily. A lily? What else is good? Tell me what's good in... Um, what else is good in Core 2013? Um, Rise of the Dark Realms? Is that Core 2013 or is that Core 2014? I know Shadowborn Apostles Core 2014. I know there's some good mythics in here. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, Dark Favor, Ranger's Path. Man, the art from these old core sets is sweet. Searing Spear, wow, that's kind of weird. We got the Searing Spear um, FNM promo too. Deadly Recluse, Hydro Surge, Divine Favor, Pacifism. I always love that art for Pacifism. Tormented Soul, Torch Fiend, Flint Hoof, Tormod's Crypt, that's a good uncommon. Oh, Touch of the Eternal, not the greatest rare from 2013. And you got a fancy island. Look at that fancy island. It's not foil, but it's fancy. All right, Jenny, nice pack, nice pack. Um, we'll get you packaged up here. Numbers 10 and 11. Yeah, 24. I thought I thought Rise of the Dark Realms was 2014. Oh, we're wrong way here. Uh, been trying to get this Made in China dealy on the back side. It's going to be nice to have some, like, local acrylic. Right, made in the, made right here in my backyard. So crazy how that happened too. I just like, the guy that I bought the box of the dark off of happened to have a, a print shop that can build acrylic boxes. So it was, I was stressing all day yesterday about trying to find custom acrylic boxes. Cause I didn't, honestly, I didn't think Tempest would sell out that fast because it's a $500 slot. So I figured we had a little bit of time, a couple days. So I've been talking to some Etsy people about custom boxes and all this stuff and trying to figure out timelines and pricing and if they can make them. And then I go meet this guy and it just all freaking falls into place. Life is crazy sometimes. And we don't have to wait for shipping or anything, so... All right, Jenny. There's yours. Who's up next? We have Heinrich. Mr. Heinrich Bernardo. Seems like he gets into every break I've been doing. So, Heinrich, 
Cheers to you, sir. I don't know if you're here. I don't know if you're drinking. But uh, I've mostly been cheers to the people who are drinking. But uh, to you, sir, you and Joe Torres and Neil Eldritch are uh, probably the th the three most bought-in uh, pack box breaker dudes. I don't know how to say that, but... Um, so you got 13, 14, and you're going in the same case. Let's get you a roll on the old four-sided die. And four! Fallen Empires! All right! We're doing it. We're doing a pack of Fallen Empires. Now, I picked these packs specifically. I've got about 50 packs of Fallen Empires. I picked them specifically because I've seen some things about these off-printed packs. Sometimes they have off, like, misprint cards in them. So... We're going to hope for, like, a severely off-center, flipped-around, crazy uh, Hand of Justice. Uh, what else is in here? Um, all I can remember is all the Homeland ones. I mean, uh, him to Torok would be sweet. There's not much in Fallen Empires, but there's probably some hidden spice in there. So, um, Heinrich? Let's crack a pack from 1994. Uh, this will be the oldest pack I have ever cracked. Oh, man. They're beautiful. Look at that medallion war machine. Look at that. That's so nice. Ication Phalanx, Thelonite Druid. So it looks like the cards are perfectly centered. We have the opposite of a misprint pack, Darylor. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the rare. Your black spell says, no, that can't be a rare. There's no way. Is Vidalium War Machine a rare? I don't know. I don't know, uh, Fallen Empires enough. Evan Stronghold? Oh, no, Torox Gate! That's your rare! Holy Shiza! Shiza Manelli! That is probably the best hit. That's the amazing art, and, like, it's it's reserve list. It's beautiful. You could probably grade that thing. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so sweet. All right. Um, hold on. I'm just going to put this whole thing in a sleeve. Is it Darylor? Is Darylor the... I know Torox... Isn't Torox Gate on the... Is Darylor the rare? I need to look at this now. Hold, hold, please. All right. Either way, Heinrich, that's for you, sir. Um, I need to look. I have a, I have a thing up here that's got... Uh, let's see. They both are. They're both rare? They're both on the reserve list? Let's see. I have to see. Wait, Jeremy, were they, are they, there were two rares in that pack or they're both on the reserve list? Because I thought reserve list was only rares in like U, the U2s, whatever it is. All right, well, this isn't coming up right now, but someone tell me if I, I, I just love that card, and I'm pretty sure it's on the reserve list. So, um, Heinrich, I'm going to send you the pack, too. I'm going to send these. I'll just put them in there. That was a, that was a sweet Fallen Empires pack. That was awesome to see. Um, that's, that's amazing. So, Heinrich, that's for you. You're going same same case. We're doing packs 13 and 14. Okay, so we got a little bit of stickiness again, but like not nearly as sticky as the last time. So Let's get your packs all snug in here. Daryl is not on the reserve list, but both are rares as best I recall. Turok is the rare. Yeah, I think Daryl Lord is not a... That would be insane if there were two rares in that pack. Um, I was just thinking most of the packs, most of the old school packs are like three and then the rare. Um, so I figured it might be that, that way with 
And I don't... I sort through Fallen Empire's bulk a lot. And I feel like I don't see Darylor come up that much. Um, are we lagging? Did we get some lags, guys? Huh. Huh. I think we're massively lagging now. Um, I'm looking at the video and it's about, it's about a minute behind. All right, well, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, it's gonna be super off, but So that's Heinrich. Big hit is Rainbow Bale, but Concorn is creeping up. Oh yeah, Concorn is a really big hit, isn't it? Rainbow Veil is... Yeah, Rainbow Veil is the best hit. Alright, now we're, uh, we're on to Jeremy. Jeremy, let's get a four-sided die roll for you. We got a three. We're going with... Uh, we're going with the new booster packs. Let's roll. Since there's four left, we'll roll a four-sided die. And number four. So you also are getting a 2013 core pack. Huh. All right. Let's see what we got. Captain's Call, Naturalize, Chandra's Fury, Essence Drain, Centaur Cursor, Water Cursor, Fire Elemental, Divine Verdict, Craterize, Pacifism again as the last common. That's weird. Knight of Infamy. Oh, Reliquary Tower. That's a good hit for an uncommon. Sweet. Knight of Glory. Sarah Avenger. Not a bad rare. I mean, it's it's still technically bulk, but that's a good rare. Weird that they were both white rares. And no foilies. All right, Jeremy. That is your prize. Um, let's go. You're doing two separate cases. Pack numbers 15 and 16. So last pack in row one. So row one was on point as far as there was no pack shifted around. Because we're on pack 15. And... Uh, and that's the end of row one. So that's kind of perfect. Come on, Nickel Bolas. Jeremy, if you're good with that. Okay, I'll put him in the same case. I'll put him in the same case. All right, we got 15. And I just saw that. Thanks, sir. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, maybe I'll make, hmm. Thinking about different sizes that we may want acrylic cases for, too. I don't know if anyone would really want, well, you guys tell me, would you want a double booster pack acrylic case? One that it has the full, you know, like the graded power ones. 
like it's fully lays flat. I don't know. It just seems if you're going to resale and it's for provenance and we're doing old school packs, probably not the best deal, but who knows. All right, so this is number 15 and 16. All right, we are officially a third of the way through, guys. All right, where's your prize pack? There it is. Uh, who else we got? Pete Battle. Mr. Pete Battle. I don't think Pete is here. Um, if you are Pete, give a shout. Say what's up. We're going to go with a one. An island. All right, Pete's got a nice. This one's, this one's near mint. A few of them in there are played, but this is a near mint one from Odyssey. Beautiful art. Um, I, I'm surprised it's the first one that's come up, but there it is. That, honestly, to me, if you pull a force of will, then you've got the island for it. That's my that's my thoughts here. Um, that that would be my pro, my choice prize, which is why I put like 25 of them in there. Um, all right, number 17, Pete. He's just getting one pack sealed in the case. That's a little sloppy. I think we can do better than that. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So what would be everyone's... I need everyone to comment on this one. What would be your... Most sought after box break. Like, what would be your number one? And let's negate uh, the obvious, like, legends and their antiquities and Arabian Nights and that kind of. I think everyone's on board with the fact that we all want a box break of that. Um, but, like, besides those, out of the 90s, um, what is everyone's, like, most sought after? What's the one you're waiting to? to see pop up in the sealed group or from Mr. Michael Jewell or, you know, some of the other breakers. Um, oh wait. Oh yeah, we did. Peach was the island. Uh, what's your most, most wanted pack? Future Sight. Okay, that's a good one. Um, that is a really good one. If I can find it, I'm going to write these down. Uh, future Sight. I'll start looking for them. Um, I've got a bunch coming in. There's about 15 90s boxes coming in. But that's that's a good one. I think that would be a lot on a lot of people's list. Kevin Wolford. Kevin, if you're here, raise your beer. We're going to roll a die for you. He's getting two packs. Number three. All right, we got three packs left. We'll roll the four-sided die. If it comes up a uh, one, wait. If it comes up a four, we'll roll again. All right, we got one. Zendikar Rising. Mercadian. Yeah, Mercadian would be sweet. Uh, what is that? That's got to be like $1,000 plus these days. Um, I haven't seen one pop up on the market for a bit. I actually just sold... To Mr. Uh, Mr. Graded Power himself, I sold my Mercadian Masks pre-constructed deck box and 8th edition pre-constructed deck box. Um, he had pretty good buy list prices on them. They were above what I paid for him. So. Oh, you got a Pathway, dude. Bright Climb Pathway. That's not bad. Pretty good hit. Pretty good hit. Not a dud. Not a dud. So we'll get your packs. Uh... Mr. Wolford, we're going to go number 18 and number 19 in separate cases. Torment, Masks, and Apocalypse would be awesome. Well, Jeremy, you are in luck. I think I've got a, a box of Torment and a box of Apocalypse coming. Ha, <laughs> 7th edition on the cheap. You know, I thought about grabbing. There's a couple boxes of 7th edition for sale right now, but I feel like the price point is too high for um, for a break. I don't think the market 
is quite there yet for doing a box break on it. If I can find anything, if I can find a seventh for cheap enough that it makes sense to break and not break everyone's bank, then that that I will certainly do that. Anything Urza's would be solid. Yeah, I think we all agree on that one too. Um, I don't know that that's gonna be. I mean, you're talking about a what like a if it's ten thousand. That's three thousand per. That's like between twenty five hundred and three thousand for the for three. I mean, you're talking about like three four hundred dollars a pack for Urza Saga. Yeah, begging for those foils. I hear that. Um, where are we at, Kevin? Number eighteen. Twenty four. Now I'm slacking. I'm just working slow. And then we'll do another one for Kevin. Nineteen. If I, I, you know. I saw someone not too far, about six months ago, with a box of Urza Saga, and it was going for, but that's one sloppy. It was going for about 26, I think they were selling it for. And um, I should have bought it. You know, it was a little cheaper. Well, it was much cheaper than the market at the time. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't. Honestly, it, you know, I think market at the time was between 35 and 45. It was kind of in the doldrums. I guess it was more than six months ago. Kind of the doldrums of the slumps of uh, the plague and when everything was falling. Um, I think I wound up buying a bunch of alpha and beta instead. 12K probably. Whew. Whew. One day. One day we'll do it. My hopes is to... I would love to like break something like that for free and just do like a raffle for spots for Urza Saga and just like get wasted and broke break it open and just have a really fun stream and um yeah and just maybe even break the packs open and just like just give it away. If if we ever get to that sort of ball of status, that would be so much fun. Um, I don't, I don't know that that's ever going to happen guys, but a man can dream. A man can dream. All right. Uh, where are we at? That's was Kevin's two. Now we're at Liam. Liam's just doing one pack. Liam, let's get a roll for you there. Yeah, for ball, I'll uh, I will give you, yeah, I'll give you this one. It's minty. I've got the other one that's beat up, but I, I was trying to decide whether I want to give you the nice one or the beat up one. Um, but I'll give you the nice one since the beat up one was the first '90s box that I've ever broken, and I'll probably just hold on to it forever. Um, but yeah, you can have this. No big deal. Uh, and any buyer should pick up power instead, but that break would be sick. I agree. Yeah, power is kind of where I'm at right now. Power and alpha rares. Buy up to 29 plus duels for that much. No, no, no. No, no, no. Prabal, I want the beat up one. You take the crispy one, because I want the nostalgic box of the first 90s box I ever... I don't care how beat it up. Did you... Do you see me? Didn't you see me? Like, this is the guy, this is who you're working with. This is, you know, I, I scream beat up booster box. I don't want the crispy one. <laughs> um, all right, all right, back to work, guys. Who are we at? We're at Liam, right? We're at Liam. We rolled, did we roll a die? Someone tell me if we rolled this or not. <laughs> I love you too, dude. Did we roll this die? Did I roll it and then it just sat here and it's a two? Anyone? No? Okay. 
Well, I'm just going to say I didn't roll this. Uh, all right, there we go. Number one, you are getting the foil island. Let's take a look at that. That one's pretty sweet. That's invasion. Um, and that one's, look how minty that is. Woo! Sexy. All right. Um, so that is pack number 20. We're almost halfway there, guys. I don't know how long we've been going at this, but, um, we are almost halfway there. Sixty-one minutes. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um. All right. Twenty. I think the only reason the last one was so short was because uh, Jorgo bought eighteen packs. <laughs> so I fully expected this one to be two hours long. So we're about. That's probably right where we're at. Uh, Max Bailey is next. Let's roll a die for Max. Number four. All right, we got another Fallen Empires pack. We got another Fallen Empires pack. Maybe this one will be re re misprinted. I don't know. Maybe we'll pull a Rainbow Veil now that we know. Uh, now that we pulled pulled the collective uh, mind brain on it and uh, remembered that Rainbow Veil was was a thing. Um, and it looks like the rare is at the back. Uh, so we'll see. Man, these are super minty. I got, I forget where I got these. I bought a dude's whole sealed collection off them. Um, oh, man. Look at that art. That's so good. Ooh, Ring of Renewal. That's on the reserve list. I think, you know, I think that's on the reserve list. A little Schuler art. Discard a card at random from your hand and draw two cards for five. For ten. Five to cast, five cat uh activation cost. Soul Exchange. Sylinvite Priest. Haven would I love this land cycle from Fallen Empires. The art on it is so like the flavor is so good. Oh! Implements of Sacrifice. There you go. That's on the reserve list. So creepy. She's holding the little blood thing, Chalice. And raiding party. All right, that wasn't a bad. We didn't get dumpster fire, uh, fallen empires packs. That's for sure. Um, I'm calling it. There's gonna be a rainbow veil in one of these packs. If we open all of them, there will be a rainbow veil. Uh, maybe we'll just open the last couple if if nobody pulls them. But um, that is for Max Bailey. Yep. For Max Bailey, pack number 21. Ha! Yeah! That's, I mean, that's probably the most fun prize. I am a blue player, so, like, Legacy Foil Islands are kind of my jam. Um, but I definitely think the Fallen Empires pack is the most fun. For everyone. Alright, number 21, 2, 24, 21. Alright, here's your Fallen Empires back, Mr. Max. Alright, Justin Burns. Justin Burns is getting two packs. Let's roll you a die. Let's see where we're going. Woo, woo. Try that again. Three. Alright, there's only two left. Um, all right, one and two is top pack, three and four is bottom pack. All right, three and four. Are you saying, Jeremy, are you saying there's two rare, there were two rares in that pack too? 
<clears throat> if so, then maybe the miss maybe these are misprinted packs with two rares in them? That would be insane. If, if that's the case, I'm gonna run in the room and go, I got like 50 packs. Uh we're gonna have to swap these out for no, I'm just messing. Ring and implements are both rare, both reserved. See, I thought that. So there's oh, man, that's driving me crazy. So do we just have really lucky packs, or did were there always two rares? That's insane. All right, well, let's look at some... Let's get a shock land here. This will be an insane, insane video if we are getting Fallen Empires packs with two rares and shock lands and... Oh, pack rat. All right, that's not a shock land, but that's a decent rare. It's not garbage. You had like 80,000... Oh, and a foil. An assassin strike. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many garbage rares in Return to Ravnica. You actually pulled a half-decent one, so congrats, dude. This is... <laughs> For the packs we're opening, we're getting some, we're getting some good luck. All right, no, pack number 22. <laughs> Better than the FV pack I had at my last GP. When was your last GP, dude? I'm assuming that's Max, Mr. Foul Play. Complete dumpster fire packs or really good ones. Hmm. I don't think I am. I don't think I opened any Fallen Empires back in the day. When I started in Ice Age, I mean, I really wasn't like buying packs. I remember getting, I remember getting like free cards from. Just whomever, you know, just people gifting cards and whatnot. All the bulk. Uh, number 22. Just make sure. Number 20. 21. Yep, 22. Okay. Number 22. That was a sloppy one. Pack 22 and 23. Okay. And then 24 is Dorian Nelson. Dorian Nelson. Let's roll a die for you. Number two, Searing Spear. How many do we have left in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's roll a six sided die. Number one. All right. Searing Spear it is. That is your. I don't know if anyone's seen these FM promos from back in the day for Searing Spear. It's a pretty cool one. I definitely like it better than the normal art. Pretty sweet. Um, all right. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Julian's next. Julian, this is you, bud. Not, not Dorian. I'm sorry. I totally skipped over you. That would have been bad. So, Julian, your first pack is getting sealed. Your second pack is getting opened on camera. Sorry, guys. Um... So let's seal this one. This is number 24. Oh. Are we still glitching? Yes, you did get skipped, but you didn't get skipped. <laughs> I realized. I, I, that's why I got this list. I'm making sure to double check and just making sure I don't mess anything up.
Whoa. That is a wild signature there. Okay, you get a weird sig. All right, Searing Spear. There's your pack. And second pack, we're gonna open. So Julian is a crazy man, and he wants to open this one. And so here we go. Pack number 25. So if anyone's... Oh. Oh. Sorry. I totally ripped your pack. I'm going to send it to you anyway, but... <sighs> Alright, well. Started out pretty good. Lindul's Vault, right off the bat. Perfectly centered. Um, sweet. Suffocation. Oh my god! God! What? What? Julian, how did this happen? How did this... Do you realize the anom... We're only breaking three packs. What is going on? This is insanity. This is insanity. We, uh, what? Did you realize you had to get in the right place in the list? You had to get the right dice roll in the beginning? You just pulled a pack fresh force of will. Congratulations, man. That is going in a sleeve. That is insane. That is insane. That's the craziest thing. Wow. I cannot believe we got that on camera. That's so effing sweet. All right, well, let's go through the rest of the pack, I guess. You got a Limb Duels Vault and a Force of Will. That is insanity. All right, you got a Kravikin Horror. I mean, like, do we do we really need to go through the rest? What, are you going to hit a Lake of Dead, too, in here? Taste of Paradise. I love the art on that. I always thought this should be, like, a $10 card, but that's because I play green and I'm stupid. Uh, Finhorn Druid, Viscerid Armor, Storm Shaman, look at that weird creepy dude, <laughs> Whip Fine, sorry, me screaming was just in my ears, Foresight, nice, okay, and then back to the beginning, wow. And I almost skipped you. We wouldn't have opened it, right? I, it's crazy. This is crazy. All right. Well, Julian, congratulations, man. Um, that is that's awesome. That is awesome. I can't. I cannot believe. It. I can't. I'm just like speechless. I'm speechless. That's so cool. All right. All right. Dorian, you're up next. Uh, let's roll a die for you, dude. <laughs> let's, well, I'm just throwing stuff on the floor now. Uh, all right. Number two, disdainful stroke. One, two, three, four, five. Let's roll a six sided die. Number three, third in is going to be a Demir charm. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet gate crash. I think it's gate crash. Um, yeah, it's cool. Pack number 26. Wow. All right. That was... hope this was being recorded. Yeah, they all just get recorded and uploaded for eternity on uh, on the YouTubes. So this will be here forever. You can watch me pull a... Uh, you can watch me scream over a, a force of will anytime you want. On a Tuesday, on a Sunday, eating breakfast, you know on a Monday night when you're touching yourself, you know, whenever you want. You can just hear me go, gah, gah. So, yeah, it'll be here forever. Who was the presidential candidate however many years ago that ended his career by screaming? That's who I was. 26, 2, 24, 1. <clears throat> All right, Dorian, you're getting the Demir charm. And your second pack. Let's 
go 27. I can't believe that. What are the chances? Howard Dean, that's who it was. I remember the Chappelle skip it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Well, hopefully that doesn't end my YouTube career before it starts. Um. <laughs> So this is 27. I keep being tempted to like write your guys' names on the packs because I'm reading them as I'm writing this and making sure everything's all gravy. Uh, all right. Who's next? Keith Bryce. He's getting one pack. Keith, you are getting a LP. LP, maybe, maybe MP, <laughs> maybe LP minus, um, Invasion Island, Foily Boy, as, uh, as Mr. Fang would say, Foily Boy, which I've picked up saying because it's very catchy, um, all right, let's do, this is 28, Yep, 29 and 30. So we are right in line. That that off pack was from the third stack. So sweet. We are good to go. Ready to rock. Howard Dean for sure. Yep, pull the Howard Dean. Somnio Sator and Nicholas Co. Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, Somnio Sator, who, who are you? Reveal yourself. You seem to have a coded name. Are you in the break? Are you someone on this very esteemed list over here? Uh, where are we at? Where did I say we are? 28? All right, all right. Uh, so 27, 28 was Keith Bryce. He's going to get his island there. And then we got Tony Hutz has three packs. Uh, and let's roll him a die. Number one, also getting a nice same island, actually. Um, I did not. I probably should have shuffled these up a little bit. But um, same invasion island. Go there. We'll get your packs. You got 29, 30, and 31, all in separate cases. perfect oh there's the ticket I almost gave the ticket away that would have been unfortunate I didn't wow okay well that's for you uh, mr. will seals will unseals I'll save that for you um, and I'll mail it off to you just like I did the other one Still got about a third of the box to go. Sorry, guys, I'm slow. Um, you know, just comes with old age, I guess. Number. That's number thirty. Oh, right. Duh. In the morning, I have a really good memory and really good attention span. And at, in the evening, I tend to not. Which is strange, because I don't even smoke the reefer. 
Oh, that one's a little... Let's get you a different case. Oh, this is no good. All right, so 31, fresh off the top. Julian, if you're still here, I am just so happy that you were here to see that fold. Um, it's just super cool. All right. This is the last one for Tony. Pack number 31. All right, Tony, there's your three. Now we're on to Keith Amamoto. I love your last name, man. If you're still here, if you're... I thought I saw you earlier. Um, I love saying your last name. It's just a lot of fun. Number two. All right, we got one, two, three, four left. So we'll roll a four-sided die. Number four. Boom. War Leaders Helix. That is what you're getting, sir. And then uh, you've got two packs, different cases. So we will go... I'm going to be happy when those new acrylics come too, because then I don't have to bend these these packs, um, which takes a little bit of time and also just makes me feel dirty. It just makes me feel real dirty inside. It's not what I want to be doing to them. All right, 32... And number 33 for Keith. We're almost done. We've got a couple more packs to crack. Numbers um, 40 and 41 are going to be packed to, or cracked too. Uh, who is that? David Bauer. You're here somewhere, aren't you? There you go, Keith. That's for you. Sam Nassau is getting one pack. Mr. Sam, you are getting a promo pack. Number four, we'll roll again. One, two, and three. Number four. All right, we'll roll again. Number one, Disdainful Stroke. That is for you, sir. Getting pack number 34. Ugh, that's ugly. See, that's what I don't like about it. It's got to be nice and cleanly folded if it's going to be displayed. Maybe I'll be happy when these things are gone. All right. Four. One. 224, 21. All right, Mr. Sam. That's for you. And now we've got Eric. I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of your name. Eric Ziu Kai. Ziu Kai. That seems close. Probably not right, but close. He's going to do two in the same pack. Um, we're going to get. Oh! Nice. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a four. So we're going to go for another Fallen Empires pack. Sweet. I was, I've been dying to crack these, and I just needed an excuse. So you guys are the excuse. Here we go. Whoop, pack 
number three of Fallen Empires. We've got a Thrall Wizard, everybody's favorite wizard. Oh man, come on, focus on the cards. Uh, Feralite Priest, Goblin Kites, Dwarven Catapult, Feral Thalid, Deep Spawn, Dwarven Armor, and that was kind of a dead pack. Okay, well, not, not you know, it's, they can't all be spicy, right? Eric, I'm sorry you got a dud Fallen Empires pack, but, I mean, after all, it's a it's a Fallen Empires pack, so. Uh, let's get you a case. We're going two in there. This is going to be number 35 and 36. 35. Not to mangle it too much. 35 in there. Pack number 36. Um, I'm really scared about this dark box break. It's going to take like three hours for me to break that box down. Uh, luckily one person did get, um, seven packs, so that'll make it a little easier, but we need a couple more of those. So Eric, that's going to get shipped off to you. Thank you, sir. And Mr. Luke Winship, you are next. Let's roll the die. We got a number two. Number two, all right, we got two left. So one and two will be the Searing Spear, and three and four will be the one underneath. Three, so you are getting an Is It Charm, sir. This is my favorite art for Is It Charm, too, by the way. They all look kind of similar, but that's a good one. That's a good one. So that's for you, sir. Um, and you are getting one pack, number 37. Is anyone still here? Talk to me, guys. What's going on? Tell me about your day. I'm not. I'm not working anymore until somebody says something. All right. I'm just kidding. Um, Jesse P. Craig. Jesse is down in Australia, and him and a buddy, uh, who is it? Sten are um, are actually both in on the Tempest breaks. So we'll be doing one nice big package down to Australia, um, which makes things a lot easier. So Jesse, uh, you got number three. You got the last pack of Return to Ravnica. Let's see what we get. Stang, Catacomb, Launch Party. Augur Spree, Selesnia Guildgate, Aqua Steed, Practos Key Rune, Grover the Guardian. Oh, wait. Oh, Grover the Guardian is the rare. Oh, womp womp. That is, yep, that's a crappy bulk rare. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. No bueno. No bien. Um, and you are getting three packs different. Packs. Something. Ha. Let's wait and see what else comes out of those packs. Ha. That's funny. Yeah, well, we've got two more. Um, well, we're, we're going to seal these, and then we're going to open two. 
And then we'll have the last three. Doesn't look like there's enough packs in that box, but I promise you there are. Whoop. All right, so that's it's gonna be number 38. Gonna need some more tamper resistant tape. Avon. Throw that down there. How many packs are in a box? 45. <laughs> I'm still dumbfounded. Yep, me too. Yeah, this pack, uh, Alliances is a weird one. Tell me if anyone else is knows if there's any other boxes with 45 packs i don't think so there's a couple with 60 notably the dark which we're doing soon and um most have 36 but uh i don't know if there's another one that's 45 it might just be alliances so we're almost there we're at 39 we got a couple packs left um and so we're opening some, so it'll, you know, that'll cut down on my, my work. I'm sweating over here, working too hard. No, on my computer. Homelands or Fallen? Hmm. Does Fallen? Fallen has 60, I think. Fallen Empires has 60 packs, if I believe correct. I think that's the case. I think Fallen has 60. Uh, Homelands, not sure. I've never had a box of Homelands. I actually have a opened booster box of Fallen Empires that these came out of. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know about Homelands. Yeah, definitely Fallen Empires has 60. Well, not definitely, but I'm, I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure. Because I got like over 50 from when I bought this guy out. Um... Whoop, that's a sloppy one. All right, Jesse, number 40. Here we go, guys. We're opening 40 and 41 for David. David, where you at? Oh, wait, let's put those over there. Let's stay organized. Okay, so we got... We've got two people left. So it's David and Dan. Shane um, is getting pack number. He's getting the last pack, but he also got the first pack. So um, since there's two people left, uh, we're going to do one, two. Oh, shit. Ah. Guys, my camera just cut out. Um. This has not happened before. So my video, my audio is still here. But I realized my video just cut out. Hold on. All right, we're going to stop right there. Yeah, I haven't started pack opening. Okay, so um, guys, give me like, give me like twenty minutes. Um, I am not a professional YouTuber. I only have one battery pack. I uh, did not expect that it would uh, cut out like that. Let me see. Stay there with me for a minute. All the packs are still on the table. Um, let me see if I can get a plug-in. 
an alternate source Let's see. Um, hmm. Sorry, guys. Not quite sure what to do here. Uh, no packs have been harmed in the as this video has cut out. There is sadly not a power cord for the camera and there's not even an auxiliary power source to plug into. Um, I'm wondering if I'm wondering if potentially, yeah, there's there's not even a spot to plug in and charge. Or go, you know, go hardwire. So, well, this is not something, this is a uh, big learning lesson. Um, we've got David Bauer's pack uncracked on the table. Um, just sitting here. And I guess what I'm going to have to do is... Uh, wait for the camera to charge for a couple minutes and then we'll real quick film the rest there's only there's two pack openings and then we're packing up three more packs and that's it so um if you guys want to hang out for a minute i'm just going to switch the camera over uh actually i know what we can do i know what we can do i've got an i've got an idea all right so uh whoa, 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 whoa. knocking everything over so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go this method for the rest of it. I should have thought of this right away since I have another camera and it's right here. So let's do this. Um, there we go. Uh, it's not great, obviously. Um, here's the rest of the box. Let's see if I can back it up and... Give us a little more. There we go. I mean, at least it's, uh, at least it's, can you see me? Can everyone see me? Um, at least it's not, at least video's there. It's not going to be great for the end of the, the video, but, um, so this is David's first pack. Um, we're going to open it up. That works, sure. Yeah, I know. I'm it's not a professional operation I'm I'm running here. Uh but at least we're on video, right? Uh so let me let me get this light going a little differently. That's probably a little better. We can see you. I know. All right. So let's just do it like this. Pack opening. This is not great. Strong Gold Spy. Uh, Nature's Blessing. Ooh. Ooh, you got a heart of Yavi Maya. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. These are like, I think that reserve list like 30 bucks now. Man. Frexian Boone. Taste of Paradise, the other art. Uh, Soldevi Sage. Undergrowth. That was a nice hit. Awesome prize. I always love this art. That's so good. Just reminds me of like Power Rangers or something. Astrolab. Astrolabe. Astrolabi. And some birds. Got some birds here. Um, what is that? Carrier pigeons? 
Gorilla War Cry. All right, that's not a bad pack, dude. Um, I'm gonna sleeve up your Heart of Yavi Maya to keep her nice and crispy. All right, we'll put that there. Wait, David, did we do a? We didn't do a. That's right. All right, before your next pack, we're gonna roll a die and we're gonna get your prize going. So we got one. So what I was saying when is three and four will be this. Um, but you got a one. So we got a nice onslaught island, nice foily onslaught island. So that'll go with your packs. And let's uh, let's do number two. This is pack number forty-two. Ooh. All right. What do we got? How crazy would it be if we pulled two Force of Wills? There we go. This is a little better. Uh, Primitive Justice. Look at that. I always love that art, too. Gustus Scepter. I think that's the rare. Pretty sure that's the... Uh, the rare. Frexian War Beast. Another awesome presence. Showing his awesome presence. Another Astra Lobby. Another Gorilla... Okay, that's weird. Track printing? Enslaved Scout? Uh, I can't read the white ones on the camera. Phantasmal Fiend? Oh, so Devi Adnate. Oh, it's such a good art. This one's so weird. Spiny Starfish? And Primitive Justice. Oh, that was the first one. That's right. Wait, which one has been climbing in? Oh, the Gustus Scepter. Yeah. All right, I'll sleeve her. I mean, everything reserve list now is climbing in price, right? That's why these boxes are stupid expensive. Um, luckily, Alliances isn't prohibitively expensive um, for, you know, something like this. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put these over here since those are open packs, and we're just going to, we're going to, all right, so who's up next? That was David Bauer. We've got Dan Tenner, uh, the last prize to be given out, Dan. Number one. All right, you also got an island. Uh, sweet. All right, and you're going to do both packs of different boxes. So, Of course, the camera cut out right when um, we had to open packs. It couldn't have cut out, like, in the middle when we were just packing things, and then this camera view isn't, like, a big deal. Of course, it had to cut out right when we were about to open some packs. So, Oh, well. The show must go on. At least we know now a workaround. Um, I obviously will be ordering another battery pack for my Canon, because um, that was super unfortunate. So... Uh, yeah. Let's see, this is pack number 43. Boo! 43 and 44. And last pack is going to be Shane Wimble. All right. 
And then while we're here doing this, it's pack number 45. All right, guys. I was going to say let's crack these last two um, Fallen Empires packs just for the heck of it. But uh, since the camera angle sucks, um, we'll do it next time. We'll do it at the beginning of the next box break. So if you want to see what's in these last two packs, I will set them aside here in the office. And they will sit here until the, uh, the next box break. Um, thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the camera cutting out. Uh, one day I'll be a professional. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Time to switch over to some green label. Green label? What do you mean green label? I don't know what that means. You're going to have to fill me in for ball. But, um, yeah, guys, that was tons of fun. Uh, oh wait, no, that's 44, and then that's for, okay, okay, just make sure we're all good. Um, guys, cheers to you, thanks for joining me. Uh, well, Jeremy, there will be many more in the future, sir. Um, right now we're filling, I've had, if someone's not in the Goods MTG group, just hit me up. We'll get you in the group. Um, all the breaks start there. The dark was a little... They Sealed group pulled the trigger real quick on the dark, so we didn't get a big jump on it in the personal group, but... Um, oh, Johnny Walker, 15 years. Oh, that's a nice bottle. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, right now we're doing weather lights filling up, lore winds filling up, and we're filling the dark. So whenever they fill the fire, uh, next break is going to be Tempest. It's set for next Thursday at 10 p.m. Um, but if the acrylic cases aren't done yet, then we'll have to reschedule probably just by a day or two. Um, but I'm thinking we'll probably have all the acrylics done by like Tuesday or Wednesday. So um probably the next booster box break is gonna be the dark um and that'll probably fill by midday tomorrow so we'll schedule that hopefully we'll get that sometime next week as well and we'll be good to go so uh come join the fun uh have come to have a drink with me and crack some old boxes and we'll see you soon cheers guys